The gum tool in version 3.2 hasn't really changed much, except that it now has extrude direction, and you can actually find out more about the extrude direction in the surface extrude and extrude direction video. All right, so what would you use the gum tool for? Well, you can use it to rough out general shapes, uh, much like you could use the draw tool or the rapid tool or the surface clay tool, except that this tool functions somewhat like the rapid tool. However, it also drags the underlying surface topology along with it as if it were a gummy like material. Uh, so if you click and drag, you can see it's kind of dragging that surface with it. Right? And you notice there it has a little dot. That's the uh, pin alpha there. If you release it more slowly or do less of a stroke, it will have less of an effect there. Uh, Alright, so uh, like I just mentioned, the gum tool does respect pin alphas, so you can create uh, surface bumping on uh, on your sculpts. You can see here, do a little uh, little bumping there, and uh, you can do this texture too if you like. Let's turn off. Uh, yeah, let's keep that on. Draw by spots. You can get some rough uh, action going. Looks kind of like a little weird spaceship I suppose so uh, you know got a little rust on there something like that so basically the gum tool is great for creating uh, textures on your final sculpts I would say uh, right before you go to bake out a map for your normal or displacement map uh, if you need anything like rust spots or anything like that um, it's really easy to do with the gum tool and it respects your pin alphas in a pretty good way, as you can see here.